YouTube, it's your boy Dukes, and I'm back with another video, man. So we've been gone for a little minute that I can admit. Today we are going to be dropping a lot of videos, either today or this week. Today is Monday. I might just drop four videos throughout the week, but I might get off of videos a day from now. So I am working on a project car. I have a new channel for the drop called Be My Boy Dukes. I will check it out. Some of the videos will be put on this page as well, just until that page gets to like rolling. And then I'll add that stuff to that page too. So if you don't like this page in particular, you want to go over there, you can. This is the page for the guns. So today's video, we're going to be talking about four new things I purchased this week. First thing we're going to talk about though, this video is about is my newest pickup. It's a Rock Island 38 Special Revolver. So... I went to the gun show Sunday, and I picked this up. Thing nice. Caught it for a steal. Six shots, no hammer, easy access, quick shots. Clean, got that matte finish on it. Thing nice, you know what I'm saying? Um, this is my, I'll say, my EDC backup. So I will be carrying both of my new EDCs. But this one comes with a lot of cool stuff, so... This is a Rock Island. If y'all that don't know, they're a very small, low-key company, Rock Island Armory. So they um they carry anything between a 38 Special to a Colt 1911. They specialize in those. They also have ARs and shotguns and stuff like that. Check them out, man. Um, So this one, I don't know if y'all can see that. It's the Model 206. So it's a 38 Special, man. Um, And it's a snub. As y'all can see, it's a short barrel. The quicker, you know, if y'all ever seen Rush Hour, yeah, this, this is the gun that every cop usually carries as like a backup, but some people carry it as a primary too. But, but the cool thing about them, man, is when they when you buy a gun from um, Rock Island Armory, they actually test the guns out and they give you the shells they use to test the gun. So here are the two shells they use, the 38 special shells they use to test out the firearm to let you know it's running you know, fluently and functioning properly. So... They um they checked everything off to let you know that everything's working. It's a long little checklist. It tells you the I'm not gonna show you the serial number and stuff, but it has all that on it. It shows you the date is inspected, who was packed by, who was sighted by, who was assembly by, the model number, everything. This is this is an inspection certification sheet. But all the information on the gun right there. So the gun also comes with two. Well, not two. It comes, yeah, two different handles. So you have the wood grain handles. You have these plastic handles, which I might end up switching the wood out, but the wood actually feels kind of smooth. I just like this because it has a grip on it. It's like a grip. It's, more, it's like a better grip, and it has like that rigid side. Now, this has that same type of feel to it, but, you know, I don't know. I, I might keep it like this because this is actually like okay to me. Nothing wrong. I have small hands, so this gun is kind of like fine. Like I said, that no hammer thing is cool, man. I like that. Uh, what else came in the box? They, you know, they give you also, you know, the, the firearm key lock. But for children purposes or just if you're traveling, it has a hard case cover that comes with uh, a hard case box that comes with it. So you travel with the firearm, and then there's just instructions and the manual on how to use it. Um, and that's really pretty much it. They didn't give me a key for this, and I know y'all like, well, it's only a flathead screwdriver. I spent the key for it. I don't know why, but yeah. Um, so this is actually my first revolver ever in life. Now I've shot in revolvers before. Um, my first hand, uh, my first firearm I fired was actually a revolver. It was my, it was my dad's 357. I think I was like, like seven when I shot that gun out in the woods just to practice, you know. But yeah, this is the first revolver I purchased myself with my own money. This is the first revolver I own. Um, it's kind of nice. It has a nice little flush trigger to it. Quick access. I'm not going to dry fire it too much. But um, everything's clean on it, as y'all can see. As y'all can see, it has that, that cool little black finish to it. Now, I really was looking for something like this because I don't too much like colored guns anymore. I'm starting to like steer away from that type of thing, bro. It's like black. You can't go wrong with black, you know? That's why I said I might add the black handle because the brown wooden handle kind of gives off the, that's a firearm type of thing. I mean, I, I'm, not, I'm not saying the handle's going to change anybody from noticing you have a firearm in your hand. I'm just stating that the black just completes the whole, like I'm going to show y'all, it completes the look better to me. I just feel like personally, this looks a little better to me. Some of you might disagree. Um, but this this looks a lot more better to me. Let's see. I like that better. The whole, the whole little black look. Well, I actually can do it like this. So you guys will think I'm putting the guns in my head. It's, it's a little in my head. But this looks a little better to me, you know? I just I just like this better. I like the all black better. 
But the brown can stay on it for now. Um, I literally just bought it yesterday. Picked it up from a gun show. I got a couple things from that gun show. Actually, I should have recorded it. I should have vlogged, but I was kind of in a hurry. I just want to get in and get out. Because once it gets crowded, these gun shows out here, they can be annoying. I'm going to another one this weekend, though. So we'll be definitely be vlogging that. Um, I'll bring my little brother with me. And we'll definitely be vlogging that, um, that gun show. And I'm not for sure if I'm going to pick some up at this one. But I might because I need to get my girlfriend another sidearm as well. So we'll, we'll know by, I guess, Friday if I'll be able to grab that or not. But um, this video is going to be kind of short. Because like I said, it's a simple video. It's a revolver. Quick shot. Oh, I like these guns in particular because they don't, you can't like, there's no shell that drops after you fire the firearm. But I ended up picking some 38 specials up as well for a decent little price of $30. For I believe it's 25, so it's like $1.25 a shell, uh, which is kind of steep actually, I think. So. But these are hollow points. And these are my favorite hollow points. They're the critical defense hollow points from, um, how do you say it? Horny? I don't think I said that right, bro, but don't, don't, don't flame me in the comments, bro. I swear to God, like the simplest word you have for me to say. This is how it looks, man. 38 special round, um, hollow point. If y'all didn't know how they look, they really look like a regular bullet, just a very long shield. Um, but yeah, so these are the little bad boys that came with that gun. And like I said, don't flame me with them things. Them things hurt, man. It's all that matter. They hurt. You know what I'm saying? They gonna get the job done. Critical defense. Now y'all see the name right there? Somebody said in the comments what it is. I don't want to sound stupid trying to constantly pronounce it. But that's, y'all see that thing on my head, bro? That thing has just been there. But yeah, that, that's the review for that gun, man. Y'all tune in. There's gonna be way more guns being dropped this week. I got a lot of big stuff. I actually picked up body armor from this place and all types of stuff, bro. I have to do a review on everything I bought. Everything I bought is just so cool to me, bro. And y'all make sure y'all tune in to the next video. If you're not already, please subscribe. Please leave a like. Please share the video if you want to share it to your, to your friends and family. You know, subscribe to the channel. Um, Whatever you want to do, it's, it's your world. I'm just in it. Um, But yeah, y'all leave a like and subscribe, man. Thanks for tuning in.